I think that there are factors that cause some people to become pedophiles. Some of it is upbringing, some of it is rebelling against something or conforming to something. But I believe that there are there are causes for it. One of the big causes, in my opinion, is how we sexualize children. I personally think children's beauty pageants should be made illegal. I just, I, I think that's a disgusting thing. It's disgusting to do it to a child, and it's disgusting in what it... what some of the male fans will be thinking out of it. I just think it sends a really bad message. I think children's beauty pageants should just not be. I think that porn that tries to imply that someone is having sex with someone underage should be banned. I think should be made illegal. You know. Agent of Doubt thinks that uh, cream pie surprise porn should be made illegal. I'm like, eh, it's it's bad, but it, that's not. It, at least it's dealing with you know, it's it's adults with other adults. You know, I just don't think we should be propping in any way up on a pedestal this idea that adults should have sex with children or teenagers. I just, I don't think we should have that kind of imagery. Um, now I understand that there is a biological thing where we, if left in the natural state, we people would probably have attractions towards those that are younger. It will be, you know, well there's a certain age range that would be considered the epitome of human beauty. But it doesn't really seem that should be teenagers, that should be more of people in their 20s. You know, the 20s, when someone is considered in their prime. And shoving forth that, those kinds of images I don't necessarily think are that bad. I think about how there's been some songs in the past, some poems and other forms of art that will refer to women as, oh, little girl. Hey, little girl. I, sorry, I think that's messed up. I think that's just as messed up as how in the gay male community, you know, boys. I like boys. It's not I like men. No, it's I like boys. Yeah, I think that's fucked up. <laughs> Sorry, I do. It's 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 the reason why I struggle a little bit with the whole. Uh, let's try to be a twink uh, permanently the, the rest of our lives. Let's let's go for that twink look, and the twink look is really trying to go for someone that looks like they're somewhere between 15 and 18, you know? I just... And then I have memories of when I was 21. I, I looked like I was 15 when I was 21, and I had a number of guys that were wanting to be with me just because I looked like I was 15. And as soon as I started to look a little bit older, they wouldn't talk to me anymore. You know? Um... And I know that that same thing can happen, that same thing happens with uh, straight guys to, towards women. So, you know, I... And, you know, I don't honestly see that very much with women. 
going as much for the the guys that look like they're teenagers. Usually the women seem to go for... I see a lot of push for, well, I want someone that's mature. I don't want someone that is going to have the possibility of being an immature twat, you know? So it just it seems to be a little different in those areas. I, I, I don't really understand that, but that's just kind of... I mean, there's things I could go into, I could hypothesize about a lot of stuff. Um, but, you know, I think there are a lot more pedophiles out there than we would like to believe. And I think a lot of pedophiles out there, you know, they know that the attractions they have are not realistic. So they try to go for things that are more realistic. But they'll still have the fantasies. You know, not every pedophile is going to actually go and diddle with kids, you know, or teenagers. Um, some of why I... Okay, like, I have fantasies about really, really fat guys. 600, 700 pounds... You know, I've had fantasies about fattening someone up to those levels. I've had fantasies about someone fattening me up to those levels. And I, I, I don't, I don't understand it. I, I have the fantasies, um, but I think if I was to get with some, if I got with someone that was six hundred pounds, and I was encouraging them to stay at that level or even get heavier, that would really not be a good thing. It, 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 that just wouldn't be a good thing. That would, that would, I think that would borderline on being abusive. I, maybe not even borderline. I think that would be kind of abusive. I said kind of again. State it again. I think that would be abusive. Telling someone not to feel bad about themselves is one thing, but anyway, um, but I know that those sorts of things are not realistic, and so I don't try to do that. I'll have fantasies, but I don't try to do that. And... You know, I, I think about that element, and then I think about someone that's a pedophile, and they probably have similar struggles in, in you know, uh, not the same exact struggle, because it's a different thing that, that they have fantasies about, but I, I think there could be some similar struggles. When I talked about causes of things, um... I can look back and think about how, you know, I, there were things about my upbringing that were, that were probably responsible for why I have the attractions I do. And I don't look at it necessarily as a negative thing. It's, I mean, there were, some, there were definitely some negative things, but I don't look at, at me just liking heavier guys as necessarily negative as long as I don't. Uh, shove forth, hey, I want you to be 600 pounds, you know. Um, but uh, some of the way I was raised, it was like, well, everything that's stereotypically associated with being a man is demonized, and then I'm also told, well, if you start acting feminine, I'll beat the crap out of you. You know, some messed up things. Our neighbors through most of my childhood. Uh, we had these neighbors that were kind of trashy. And I never really saw a problem with that. But my mom, but especially my grandmother, would just be saying, they're just such trash. They live so trashy. They're just trash. They're nasty. Awful. And uh, the, uh, the father of the family uh, next door would... Uh, I think he's a little shorter than I am and probably weighed about 320 or something like that. 
and he'd just go out in a pair of bikini underwear and mow the lawn. Front yard, backyard, whatever. He didn't care. And, uh, you know, I was so raised to be so follow all the rules, everything perfect, and, you know, so I associated him with, with sort of rebellion, and that's what it is to be a guy, and that sort of thing, and so that's why I probably uh, went towards that sort of thing. And there's probably other factors too, but I mean, you know, it just seems like a realistic reason why I would have the attractions that I do. And so, you know, I imagine there's similar things that happen with pedophiles. But pedophiles have the additional push by media where media makes it sound like people that are 15 to 18 are the epitome of human beauty. And then you've got porn that does the same thing. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about, you know, what, I, what I'm paused so long there for on the side, I was just like, well, you know, if I'm shoving forth that the porn that makes it look like people, sh you know, are, are fucking an underage person, uh, if I'm shoving forth that that should be illegal, then couldn't people try to do the same thing about my fantasies? Because there are, there is porn out there where people are being fed and they already weigh like 600 pounds, so it's just like, you know, someone could try to stretch things into that, but we're also dealing with adults looking like they're dealing with adults and not something that's uh, glamorizing pedophilia. So, I don't know. No matter what, though, I think that we should be thinking about what imagery we push out there. And, uh, I just, yeah, anyway, I don't know what, really know what more to say. <laughs>